Rurik Gislasson vom Zweitligaprofi zur internationalen Marke in nur 27 Minuten. Vor seiner Einwechslung gegen Argentinien am 16. Juni hatte der 31-Jährige gerade mal 40.000 Follower. Heute folgen Gislason über eine Million Fans auf Instagram. Überwiegend weiblich, versteht sich. It was after the game against Argentina, our first game in the tournament. And um, yeah, I came into the dressing room and uh, you know, Instagram is, is, is important to a lot of people and, and I you know, checked my Instagram more often back in the days. Yeah, I don't know if I was excited to see if I gained some followers or not, but When I looked at my phone, it was, um, yeah, I had gained a lot of followers <laughs> and uh, it just kept rolling in. Um, the, it looked like there would be no end to it. I soon found out, I think I saw it somewhere in the news, um, that there was uh, an Argentinian uh, actress who put something on Twitter. She must be really popular because there's uh, obviously a lot of people that saw that post and I don't know if I should say... Uh, Thanks to her. Mittlerweile ist er nicht mehr nur Fußballer, sondern auch ein gefragtes Model. Was beide Berufsgruppen wohl verbindet? Die Liebe zu Tattoos. My first tattoo was uh, I've got one on my foot and it says blessed. It's been made fun of quite a lot. Uh, I was 17 years old. I played in England at the time. Everybody in the team had tattoos, so I wanted to try to have one. I wasn't sure if I would like it, so I wanted to put it on my foot where nobody could see it if I didn't like it. So I went to, together with uh, two of my friends, and one of my friends had the idea to write blessed. You know, I wanted to write something, and I knew what kind of writing I wanted, but he came up with blessed, and I thought it was a great idea <laughs> at the time. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's okay, it's nothing bad, nothing fantastic. Um, so we went to this tattoo studio, had it done and you know I didn't mind it. So a couple of years later I, I did the, the golden rule from the Bible on my, on my wrist, which obviously has a meaning for me. I'm, I'd say I'm, I'm, I'm pretty religious, yeah. Um, doesn't really have anything to do with God, but it's just basically how You know, it's about the way you communicate with people, I guess. And uh, I really like that one. Um, then the biggest tattoo I have, which I have here on my arm, that's basically just art. Uh, I had it done in Norway, um, the first part, and then the guy from Norway came to my house and did it. Um, he is an Icelandic guy. I. I got a Christmas present once, a portrait of me, a drawn picture of, of, of me, and I, I thought it was a fantastic job, um, which he did. So later on I wanted him to do a, a tattoo on me, which he did, and I'm, I think he's a, a very, very good one. He's an Icelandic guy working in Norway, Oslo. So I have this big piece on my arm, and then I have, uh, yeah, the one on my wrist and one on my foot. So basically only three, but He has drawn up a few, you know, he has a few ready ones on his computer. So maybe in the future I'll do one of those. I think I want to do one here on my, on my mm -hmm. lower neck. Um, I think that's uh, the next one, but uh, it's a big step. Trotz seiner unverwechselbaren Schönheit arbeitet der Isländer hauptberuflich noch immer als Fußballer. Event- und Modelanfragen müssen erstmal warten. Ein Spagat, der nicht ganz einfach zu meistern ist. Obviously, football is number one. As it is right now, it's just a bit tricky to do both. I've spoken to my trainer about this and he gets asked a lot about what he feels about me being doing something else than football. You know, in the end, it's just about performing on the pitch and, uh, you know, you need to have the right preparation to, to do that, so I can't be running around doing other things too much. I'm not complaining about it, don't get me wrong, but uh, you receive a lot of invites to events and stuff like that, and uh, you know, you simply just don't really have the time, you know, because you're training every day, and I like modeling, but I, I wouldn't say it's something that I'm chasing, but it's something that if, if something nice comes up, I'm more than ready to look into it. 
in general, people have just been very positive about the whole thing. And I don't think there's any reason to be anything else but positive and happy about how things have developed. Uh, I remember at one point I was the Icelandic person with the most followers and uh, not anymore though, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the mountain from, from uh, Game of Thrones, ah, okay. which funny enough we went to school together and uh, really? I just think he has a job where, where he can post more and, and his job is more about posting. In football it's a lot, uh, you, you can post but um, you have to be careful. There's a lot of people telling me how to use Instagram to post more or to post less or post, the, post this. But uh, I've, I've always said, I just want to use Instagram the way I've always done it and the way I want to use Instagram. I feel like I'm, I was more ready for it because of my age. Um, the worst thing that could have happened is, is this changing me in any ways, because I think, you know, because you gain a few followers on Instagram, I, I don't think you're any more important than you were before. So, because one day the hype is going to be over, you know, if you, if you've, how do you say it? If you if you fly too high, uh, you know that's that's not good either. I don't know. Is that a saying? Fly too yeah, high. <laughs> it's going up and down very fast. Yeah. So I, I've just uh, tried to, you know, be be cool about things.